know, in just in our lifetimes, Delhi has turned from predominantly a city of, of Punjabi refugees and Sarkari Babus into a, uh, into a grand and very heterogeneous megapolis. Um, and also increasingly a cultural capital, um, uh, which is plugged into longer historical trends that Sagarika just pointed out. Um, what we are trying to create in Delhi is a literary festival that is worthy of Delhi, uh, that is worthy of its constant churn and its many avatars. Um, this is year zero for us. We are, uh, we are approaching this in a very humble spirit. We only started working on this um, a, 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 about two months ago. Um, but I'm very happy to, uh, to announce today that we already have uh, over 100 of the world's and of India's uh, greatest writers, uh, the greatest uh, political minds, scholars, poets, uh, and, and, and artists. Um, just yesterday, for example, I'm very happy to announce we got confirmation from two of the world's uh, big literary superstars, Neil Ferguson and Ayan, Her uh, and Ayan Hirsi Ali, that they will indeed be coming uh, in November for the Lit Fest. Neil Ferguson, of course, is the, uh, is the Harvard historian, the author of books like Empire of Civilization and of the Ascent of Money. And Ayan Hirsi Ali um, has a very special place in the world right now as one of the most erudite and one of the most interesting challengers of, of fundamentalist Islam. Um, so what we're going to present to you today uh, before the rest of the evening uh, goes, off, uh, goes on is a very quick preview of what's actually in store in November when the fest actually starts. Um, if, we can have, um, if we can have the, uh, the highlights, please. A very quick preview. What we have, uh, and some of the authors which are going to be coming in November are already here. They're part of this audience. We'll have Amitav Ghosh giving a presentation which is never before given in India uh, on the cultural influence that China has had on the making of India in the last 100 years. Uh, we'll also have Tan Sen Sen, uh, one of the great um, scholars of medieval China, who will be challenging Amitav Ghosh. Uh, we'll have Sunil Khilnani, uh, the grand theorist of the idea of India, launching his new book and talking about 60 of the, of, uh, of the greatest Indians that have made the idea of India, starting from the dancing girl of Mohenjo-daro to the present day. Uh, we'll have Catherine Boo, we'll have um, talking about the afterlife of Beyond the Beautiful Forever, of the characters in Mumbai uh, which, were, which populated her book. Uh, we'll have Wendy Doniger talking on dissent and Hinduism. Um, we'll have Reza Aslan. Um, we'll have, uh, you know, you see Arun Jetli and P. Chudambram there. Uh, this won't be a political gap fest where they'll be throwing acquisitions at, at each other. Mr. Chidambaram actually will be speaking on, um, uh, on, on Is India an Illiberal Republic? And Mr. Jaitley will be speaking on the five legal cases that have defined Indian democracy. Um, we are trying to bridge, as Akash pointed out earlier, the, the highbrow uh, and, and, and the arm rasta, the powerful and the mighty uh, and the arm admi. This is the city of the arm admi and also the city of the powerful. We're going to bridge that. We're going to have uh, writers like Anuja Chohan um, uh, and Amish Tripathi, who's, who's already going to give you a little, uh, who's going to launch his book today. We will have Taslima uh, Nasri and Ashwin Nisangi. This is just a sampling of what's in store, and there's many more of big authors coming up. So I think I'll leave it at that. Let's get on with the rest of the evening. Uh